good day my beautiful art people today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made my own cradled wood board for my alcohol inks but let's enjoy the intro first <laughs> So we are jumping right in. You're going to need plywood, trim board, safety goggles, wood glue, a staple gun, wood clamps, and latex paint. Now, you're going to start with your trim board. You're gonna take some wood glue and you're gonna put that along the trim board and then you're just going to attach that to your plywood. Now, I am using a very large piece of plywood. I have my own saw, but going to your local hardware store like Home Depot and Lowe's, they will cut your wood for you. I'm gonna attach that to the board and then I'm going to take my staple gun and staple it as the wood glue needs to dry and this trim board will move if I don't staple it now you don't have to staple it you can actually use wood clamps that's why I also put that in the things you may need because you just need it to be secured as it dries I have no patience and I knew that I was gonna be completely covering the front and I wouldn't see the staples so I'm using a staple gun so I'm gonna show you guys the same thing here it's such an easy thing to do you guys I thought it was gonna be super difficult it was not it was so easy Take your trim board, glue, put your wood glue on your trim board, and then you're just going to take that trim board and attach it to the back of the plywood. And then secure it with wood clamps to let it dry, or if you are impatient like myself, you could take a staple gun and secure it so that it dries. Now, if you are going to go the staple gun route, you can always take wood filler and put that on top of the staples if they're showing through the plywood, which they would, 
and then sand it down and paint it as well but there was really no need for me to do that because my piece was completely covered I knew that I was going to be doing a large alcohol marbled completely covered look so there was really no need for me to do anything with my staples this is just for people who are impatient like myself so you see I'm securing the ends together and this wood is not going anywhere because it's secure with wood glue as well as staples so now what we're going to be doing is painting it you're going to need latex paint and this is going to prepare it for your alcohol inks so i'm using valspar and white and i'm just going to paint the front of this board you're going to take your stir stick they give it you one when you get your paint from lowe's and you're just going to Stir it up like this, like you see me stir, mixing it up, mixing it up, turning the pot. Shoo, 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 shoo. That's how it sounds when it mix. Shoo, 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 shoo. now we are just gonna paint I chose a matte finish you can use whatever you want um, either way it's gonna be completely fine but I chose a matte finish this is just a white matte finish by Valspar and I'm just going to paint my wood now with your wood you want two coat well I wanted two coats because I wanted it to be a very thick white I didn't want it to look like wood at all so with your second coat you're gonna have to wait about four hours and that's the longest process is waiting for the paint to dry that's the longest process of this but it's still worth it you're gonna save so much money
after waiting the four hours I did my second coat and this is what it looks like I was able to create a beautiful marbled piece on top of this cradle wood panel without spending like $200 on such a large cradle wood panel I spent maybe $25 to make this and I got a two foot by four foot cradle wood panel try it you guys it's so worth it I love it I hope you guys love it and if you have not already seen the video on how I created this the actual tutorial then you can go and watch that as well I'll put the link in the comments for that too thank you guys for joining as always I appreciate you and I will see you next time